What's up my YouTube family? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another video with your girl Miss Trina Living Life Eats and that's exactly what I'm about to do right now. Okay, so today guys I have made some baked pork chops and baked chicken. Then I got me some broccolettes, it's called broccolettes and some zucchini and squash. That's what we having for dinner today. So here we go. Don't that look good, y'all? Look nice and healthy. I didn't even do a thumbnail. Hold on, y'all. Let me try to do this thumbnail. Let me try to do a cute thumbnail. Because I'm a little era. All right. So tell me why um, YouTube is trying to give a sister a copyright strike. I couldn't believe that. I had got an email from YouTube saying, um, what did I say? Um, a copyright claim for uh, some music that I used in one of my videos. Oh my God, this video. It was my when I made Trout. This video was probably like three, four months ago. Like three, four months ago, this video. And I'm just not getting an email talking about some the music. First of all, first of all, YouTube, why y'all trying to give me a strike? No, it was a, it wasn't a strike. It was a claim. And they sent me an email back saying, "Okay, we took the claim away. I'm sorry. Blah blah blah. You know, it was okay to use the music. So it's just like." Why why YouTube give you options to use their music, but then they copy they put a copyright claim on your video as soon as you use the music they letting us use. It don't make no sense, y'all, but whatever. Uh, excuse me. They did take it away, so all right, what is the I looked at my email, I'm like, YouTube, copyright claim. What? How to get a copyright claim? I don't use nobody music. I don't play music. At least I don't try to play no music. At least I don't try to play no music, y'all. You get no copyright claim. I'm like, get better. Stop playing with me. I've been trying to do too much with my YouTube channel to have some claims and copyright strikes on it. Y'all know I gotta have my water. Y'all know I have to have the water. But I always put my lipstick. My lipstick is always on it. But yeah, y'all, I was just like, what is going on? Talking about a dang on copyright claim and strike for some music. All of the music I hear these other people putting on their video. Y'all better leave me alone. Like for real. All right, let me taste my pork chop. But yeah, y'all bake these in the oven on 425. It's so good. I put that mustard in there. Mm. And the pork chop is so tender, y'all. It's all right. It's not tough enough though. But yeah, yeah, that was my dilemma for today. I was like two through like what? What's your main copyright claim? For some music y'all allow us to put on here. Stop playing with me. Oh yeah, I'm so thirsty. I'm so freaking thirsty. Okay, so what have I been up to? What have I been up to? As y'all can see, I've been trying to get my vlogging in. That was the last video I put up. I had so much fun just being out of town, stress-free. It was so nice, y'all. Even though 
it was cold. It was really cold. But I had a good time. I really did. Those two days was well needed. I don't know why I started eating my fingers, y'all. But yeah, y'all, those two days was well needed. Like, for real. So, I hate talking with my mouth full, y'all. So, um, my birthday is coming up again, y'all. I know last year, I was supposed to go camping. That didn't work out because I believe it was either too cold or I couldn't get the spot. Or it was closed or whatever. That's what I wanted to do last year. But what I wound up doing, I wound up going to a photo de chow. I don't think I'm pronouncing it right, but that's where I went for my birthday last year. And didn't like the food. Well, I'm not going to say I didn't like the food. It's just when certain people make, well, when certain restaurants make like seafood, they don't clean them. Like the shrimp. Shrimp, they don't clean their shrimp. They don't clean their crawfish. They don't clean their um, lobster still. It still be having like the poop in there. At these rest at these real fancy restaurants. You paying a lot of money for this food. They don't even clean the poop out. Nasty. Nasty, y'all. Nasty. I'm sorry, y'all, but this water. Oh, it just gives you life, y'all. And as y'all can tell. I ain't used to these braids. Cause it took them, it, it took her eight hours to do um to do my hair. And she did a good freaking job. I got box braids over my locks. She did a phenomenal job. Her name is Amara. So shouts out to you, honey, because you sure did your thing on your girl hair, period. Shout out to my nail tag. Boop. She sure did her thing. They be hooking her sister up. They be hooking her sister up. Mm, 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 mm. That's a good pork chop. And I haven't had no pork chops. When's the last time I had a pork chop? It's been a while. It's been a while since I had a pork chop. But what was I talking about? My birthday? Birthday. Yes. Okay. Right. So, I do have... I have a few options for my birthday, y'all. I have a few options. Um, I do want to take a flight. I do want to take a flight, y'all. I just can't stop drinking this water. Okay, I do want to take a flight. But if I take a flight, y'all, I looked up the flights, I looked up the hotel, I looked up where I wanted to go. My thing is, I'm not going to say I'm a cheapskate, okay? I'm not going to say I'm a cheapskate because I'm not a cheapskate. It's just, when I'm, when, when everything starts to add up, your flight, your hotel, how long you staying out there, and I want to say a week. I looked at the total cost, I'm like, yeah. yo, I just, I don't be wanting to spend a damn, and I know I should not be like that with myself, but, oh, excuse me, but I don't, I don't know. I almost feel like it's an anxiety thing. It's like an anxiety thing. Because it's like when I get my nails and my hair and all that stuff done. No anxiety. No anxiety at all. But when it's time to start making like make 
a big purchase or take a vacation or something like that, y'all. Oh my God, oh my God. How much is it? Cause I know I'm gonna have to work 10 times harder to put that money back. So I get super nervous, I don't know why. Do anybody else feel that way? Do y'all have real bad anxiety when it's time to make a big purchase or you want to do something and it's, it's costing you a pretty penny? I know I cannot be the only one that feel that way. I know I can't be the only one. Like for real, y'all. Come on, let's be honest. Am I the only one that's a cheapskate? Am I the only one that's a cheapskate? Talk to me. Because it's like, it's not like I can do it. It's just taking out a large sum of money out your bank account to do something. It, I don't, it just freaks me out. It just freaks me out. So I'm trying to go to um, Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach. I looked up the hotel, all of that, and it wasn't even the um, it wasn't even the hotel. Yeah, it wasn't even the hotel that was expensive. It was the flight. It was the freaking flight. The flight almost was the, the more than the hotel. I'm like, oh my God. Jeez Louise. How about I just walked to North Carolina? Oh, South Carolina. No. So it's that option I have. I got South Carolina. And then I was thinking about the Florida Keys. I already know that's going to chop me in the bay then there's a cheaper route <laughs> there's a cheaper route because i always wanted to um have dinner on the odyssey in chicago so it's this big huge boat called the odyssey right and they do like firework shows and dinner parties and they take you on the lake and oh some real romantic grown woman shit. I have that option too and I'm strongly leaning towards that <laughs> because it's cheaper. But because um, it's Chicago. And Chicago, I get to Chicago in like an hour. And if I'm going downtown, I can just call me a um a driver. I'm definitely getting a driver because I ain't driving. I am not driving for my birthday. As a matter of fact, I ain't driving the whole week of my birthday. And I, I tell you this, I don't drive at all. How about that? Sometimes I drive though, but I'm not a driver. I either have I have someone else drive for me. I don't like to drive. <laughs> Because I don't want to pay attention to nothing. I just want to sightsee. Yeah, all this broccoli. A one pork chop. Full of the um full from the pork chop, and I still got this chicken. I'll take a piece. I'll take a piece of this chicken. I eat that piece. I put the other one back. But yeah, y'all. I had set so much, uh, so many clothes in my cart. I just got to pay for them for my birthday. And then I got um, like four or five different swimsuits. I need to be on I mean, somebody's beach out. I might just, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. It's like YOLO. You only live once, girl. Spend the money. You got it. Blah, blah, blah. But then on the other on the other side, it's like, girl, 
Don't spend that money. Girl, you know something might come up. Or you might have an emergency. Or your kids might need something. Or your mama might need something. My anxiety. That's my anxiety. The bitch won't shut up. She won't leave me alone. Sorry, YouTube. Don't ban this video for saying the B word. But that's my anxiety. It's like one here and one here. Like good and evil. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I still got plenty of time, y'all. My birthday is not until the 24th of April. I got plenty of time, but I really don't. Because if you if you book something, or if you're trying to fly for your birthday, I need to book that. Now. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to wait. But then it's just like, when I look at my savings and my, my checkings account, I be like, you ever smile at your bank account because it look good? You be like, hey, hey, Chase. What are you doing, Chase? Oh, that's how much you got? Good job. And then as soon as it's time for you to do something or fly out somewhere, you be like, damn. You look at that bank account like, yeah, I had a good vacation, but shit, now I'm at a 6000 or 5000 or 4000 or however much. Oh, I don't know, y'all. I, I just can't get with it. I'm trying to get out of that 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 phrase. I mean, not phrase. What do you call it? I don't even know what you call it. The cheap stage, I guess. Mm. You know, these broccolettis, they come from the bag. And typically, I don't buy bag. Uh, what the hell is this? Vegetable. I don't buy bag vegetables that's in the bag. I like just fresh broccoli crown, fresh zucchini that I cut up myself, fresh squash I cut up myself. Because sometimes, like the bag, you can almost taste the damn bag in the broccoli. That's what it kind of tastes like. That's why I'm hesitating. Like It came from a bag that you could put in a microwave. Who puts... Well, I know a few people that put their bags in the microwave, you know, for their vegetables, but... I don't care to do man like that. I just like fresh, raw vegetables. And if I cook it, I cook it myself. Because I don't know. It tastes like... This is the... Yeah. I don't know, y'all. It tastes like something. I don't know. It don't taste broccoletti to me. It tastes like it's fake, like a fake broccoli. It don't have that broccoli taste to me. But I don't know why I brought the damn thing anyway. I'm like, okay, broccoli, you say broccoli, I'm going to just buy it, try it. I don't like it. If I don't eat some vegetables, I would rather just have fresh, raw vegetables. I eat it that way, y'all. But yeah, um, I'm still just thinking about what I'm gonna do for my birthday. And um, just kinda go from there, y'all. I just been home doing my thing. Been totally, totally, totally busy. Busy, bu I've been a busy body. I've, I've been a busy body. I have not had the opportunity to do really nothing. I've been out of town for two days, got back, Uploaded the video. Has so many errands to run. I couldn't make it to the gym, nothing. So what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to start working out in the afternoon. Not the afternoon, but like in the evening. Because trying to do it in the daytime, like at 10, because I, I would get up, have my breakfast, be at the gym by 10, and I only stay there for an hour. Work out for an hour, hard. Come home. And I feel like that's too much because then I still have to come home and do 
like my daily routines you know what i'm saying so if i get up in the morning and just do all my daily routines i cook in the morning i clean in the morning i do my laundry in the morning we do everything in the morning and then in the evening i go to the gym and then i'll be okay so i think i'm gonna have to switch my schedule around y'all because it was working at first going to the gym, but now that the weather has been getting nice and I've been going out of town and I've, um, I have uh, a lot of out of town things to do coming up, I ain't gonna be able to go to the gym no morning. Cause I'm about to book something right now to do uh, another vlog. Cause to be honest, I really like doing those vlogs. My vlogs don't get a, a lot of traction now, but I'm sure that it will come the summer. Because even though I'm cheap, I still like to stay in really, really nice places. I still like to stay in really, really, really nice places. And sometimes you just got to explore your own state. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I know a lot of people like to go out of town and stuff like that. I do too. But it's still a lot of stuff you can do around your own city. You know what I mean? So it's still plenty of stuff that I can do besides taking a flight out somewhere. I'm just being cheap. But it's okay. It's okay to be that way. Because my finances in the, is in order. When your finances is not in order, you go spend up every, any and everything you got. As soon as you get it, it's gone. And now you back at the, on the clock working all this overtime because you got to put that money back you spent. I don't like to do that. If I spend some money, I spend it. I don't need to put nothing back. You know what I'm saying? And that's when you know you got it. When you got to put shit back. And I got it, but <laughs> I don't want to spend it. That's weird, right? That's not weird. I know it's people. I know. I know I cannot be the only person that is like this with their finances. I know it has to be somebody else out there in this world. It's like this. Y'all keep yourself up. Y'all look nice and. Do little stuff around the town, you know, spend a little bit of money, you know, a little bit, just a little bit. And not want to just go crazy in your bank account. Just going bananas. No, I got myself on a strict, not even a strict budget, but I'm on a budget. I know what I can spend and what. Mm -mm, I'm doing that. And what I can't spend. This chicken good though. This is the best part of the chicken. And this was my first meal of the day, y'all. And this, we're gonna start it at like two something. First meal of the day. Didn't have an opportunity to get up, eat breakfast. I've been gone all morning. I've been gone all morning. All morning, got back home. Shower, start cooking, mopping my kitchen floor, but my apartment stay clean. Y'all got a little cute little apartment. Y'all see my apartment, my, my, my apartment cute. Okay, yeah, I'm about to let y'all go. I am about to let y'all go. I'm thinking about getting a tattoo too, y'all, on my neck. I don't know what I want yet. But I might get a tattoo on my neck for my birthday. Just like a little gift for myself. Just like a little gift for myself for my birthday. Okay, guys. Well, thank y'all so much for hanging out with your girl on today. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so y'all can get all of my up-to-date and latest videos. So with that being said, you guys... I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.